Hello, welcome. I welcome you all to part B simulation experiments. In today's the experiment 1 a RC phase shift oscillator aim to simulate RC phase shift oscillator to generate sine wave using op amp. Components required op amp resistor 1 kilo ohm 100 kilo ohms capacitor 0 0.01 microfarad plus or minus 12 volt supply fixed power supply and a CRO next circuit diagram so here this is the op amp 741 which is an 8 pin IC pin number 2 and 3 are the input input pins 2 is inverting input and 3 is non inverting input 6 is the output 7 and 4 are the sources so 7 is given for plus 12 volts and 4 is given for minus 12 volts and RF feedback resistor of 100 kilo ohm is connected across terminal 2 to 6 pin number and a RC tank circuit of three stages R and C R C R and C so three stages of RC is connected and the values are 1 kilo ohm R value is 1 kilo ohm and C value is 0 0.01 microfarad So one end is connected to 6 and from another end it is fed to inverting terminal of op amp pin number 2 and here each RC will give you 60 degree phase shift and overall 180 degree phase shift is given at the tank circuit and remaining 180 degree will be taken at op amp will produce you 180 degree so overall 360 degree and this is the CRO it is a two channel CRO and I am using only one channel positive is given for pin number 6 and negative to ground so let's go for the ideal waveform so ideal waveform output will be sine wave a frequency 4 kilohertz so let's go for the simulation ni multi sim 13.0 version so right click on the multi sim new page will be open and this is the PCB board where we are going to do the circuit and at the right pane you can see right side multimeter function generator watt meter oscilloscope four channel oscilloscope board platter frequency counter word generator logic converter so etc all the input and output devices will be on the right plane right side of your computer and here you can see some toolboxes are there and these are the some components which we can get directly so these are the sources basic diode transistor analog ttl cmos etc and these are the virtual components virtual component toolbox and here there will be four icons and this green icon will be the 
run icon which we are going to use for simulation simulate at the end and this is for stop that we will came to know in the procedures when we are doing and now go to place and click right click place right click on component So in the components, we have to select master database and in group. So here you can see at the group, there are so many divisions, sources, basic, diodes, transistors, analog, TTL, etc. were all available, but I will go for all groups. And family i will select all family rather searching for specific so i will select all family and at the component so clear this and you can type the component what you require so first one is 741 so you can see the symbol here and click on OK. Place it on the board. And next component source. So to select the source, you have to type DC underscore power. So this is the DC power source. So I require it in two numbers. So I will take it in two numbers after that resistors resistor rated so click ok I require four number of resistors so I will place four resistors randomly After that, capacitor of rated, just rated capacitor in number of three, three numbers. And remaining is ground. Select one. So next moving on to connections so to connect the components you have to select at the node place at the point you can see just right click so you will get this like uh, probe wire line so you can connect it and right click once so it make you connection right click and right click okay. and you can move the component so before that just take a reflection so I will flip vertically such that the op amp will be 7 will be for 6 and it is useful for me to do the connections so, connect. Flip vertically and the three is connected to ground now values so this is the rf so you, you can double click at the resistor you will get this at the label you can change the label 
of the resistor i'm change this as rf and at the values resistance value i will make it as 100k rf value will be 100k and capacitor is of 0 0.01 microfarad 0.01 u instead of micro you have to type u 0.01 u and i will rotate it left click rotate 90 degree clockwise Make the connections. Okay, from here it is given to pin number 2. After that, right click on the component head and connect it. And for ground, right click on the ground, copy and paste. Feedback connected across two to six. So now the connections are over. Now I have to connect it for output. So CRO at the right side oscilloscope is there. So right click on the oscilloscope, place it. So in two channel, I am using first channel plus plus 2 pin number 6 and negative to ground so this completes my circuit next moving on to the simulate so you can run the circuit using this icon or you can go to simulate and then run click on run and then double click on the oscilloscope so now you will get some random waveform using time base scale which means my exposition i will vary the x plane exposition such that i could see the values This is the output which we are getting. Okay. So now here T1 and T2 are there. So using these two knobs, you can select the so this is one full cycle what i am getting so the value is here t2 minus t1 234.8 Eight four microseconds. Copy it. 
234.84 microseconds which means my t is equal to 231.84 microseconds so to convert it to frequency f is equal to 1 by t so i will get it as 4.3 kilohertz So this completes your circuit diagram and RC phase shift oscillator circuit. So once again, I will brief it. So after making the connections, click on right click on run and double click on oscilloscope and then click on stop and move the cursor. To where you can see the circuit uh, waveform so after that using these uh, icons move the time basic line to where you have to measure set it for one full cycle Okay. After that, calculate the time and f is equal to 1 by t using formula. You can find out the frequency. So, this completes your RC phase shift oscillator experiment 1a. Thank you.